Ashtar via Susan Leland, March 28, 2017. Ashtar, see yourselves as divine beings, and use your gifts. Ashtar on the Road Teleconference. Greetings, beloved family. We are joined with you in such high vibrations, we ask that you simply feel it, and open your hearts even wider to let the joy come in. For this is the time, indeed. We could say that this is the moment, that you have come here to participate in, that you have been waiting for. We know, and we want to congratulate you for being here, because we understand that you have taken on, for some of you at least, perhaps the greatest challenges you have ever faced in all of your lifetimes, or at least, you are feeling them. And you are feeling challenges from other lifetimes that have been embedded so deep into your beings that you are just now beginning to get to those, what you would call the very innermost layers of the onion, to discover, and, of course, to let go, release, clear, and transform whatever there is left that, is not love, that, is not joy, and that does not raise you, or uplift you into the higher vibrations. So we're here to help you with that. Now, of course, we have a lot of different activities, and projects to do in the Ashtar Command. But our purpose in being here with you in this Ashtar on the Road family is primarily just what you heard being discussed. It is about love, it is about compassion, it is about forgiveness, and it is through those that you reach a state where all you feel is gratitude for everything that you've ever experienced, for everything that's ever happened on planet Earth, and beyond, and you can be joyful about it all. But it's a process. It isn't easy. Nisara, as you know, is more than just a freeing up of financial currencies backed by gold. It is the way into the golden age to create, or, I shall say, to enable your creation of whatever lifestyles you each desire for yourselves, because it's about living those lifestyles free from whatever third dimensional programs, enslavements, entanglements, worries, fears, stresses, etc., etc. that you have been experiencing. It is to enable you to lift up even higher, to be in even more joy. To go so much further upon your ascension paths, while you are assisting in rebuilding all of planet Earth in the higher dimensional frequencies of love. And whatever you choose, however you choose to do it, that, is up to you individually. You all have the freedom to do it. And you will all be free from the incessant propaganda which is coming to you from, yes, the mainstream media is still enough under the control we shall say, of those who want to keep you down in 3D frequencies, and energies. And they're still, you know, wanting you to focus on violence, hatred, divisiveness, but you know better. And so whenever you are hearing, or reading about something, do as the master reporters say, put the love on it. View it with compassion. Forgive everyone involved. Forgive yourselves for whatever you might have done to be a part of these low vibe programs, and get on with the joy. Dance, sing, and be joyful. This is what your true birthright is all about. You're all divine beings, yes, in human bodies, and we will say again, we do understand. We are in observance with compassionate love for all of you, for all the trials, tribulations, traumas and dramas, and so on, that you have experienced. And we are in honoring of you for taking on these challenges. They have been huge through the eons of time, and the lives that you have lived in the most recent eras of your time, as you measure it. And we are in awe of you for coming into these bodies time after time, and blueprinting for yourselves before your entry in almost all of your lifetimes such experiences as to cause all kinds of stress, including physical pain, but we tell you that it's ending. And it is for you to take the high road to bring yourselves up into the place where there is no pain, where there is no trauma, no stress, no fear, and visualize at every opportunity. 
You don't have to do an hour-long meditation. You can simply keep a vision handy. And any time that you are starting to feel a downward motion in your energies, replace, substitute that high energy, high dimensional vision of yourselves living, being in the high vibes. Get into the habit of seeing yourselves as the divine ones you are. And then share that perspective, that perception with all around you. You don't need to walk down the street, and greet everyone with, Hi, there. I am a divine master. How's your day going? And so on. You just can smile. You can project love, and all that love creates, and that, is a way of assisting the whole planet, and beyond, to lift up, because it goes all around the world. Every thought, everything you say, every action that you do goes out, out into the energies everywhere. And so it is to be yourselves, each and every one of you, a divine creator, a messenger, a messenger of love, and all that love is, and does, and expresses. In other words, create love. What happens when you do that? You attract love. If you're feeling a bit lonely, reach out. Reach out to a neighbor, a friend, a relative, or to someone in this Ashtar on the road family. Those of you who are on our private family list have divine opportunities so to do. Invite your guidance to tell you whom to connect with, and do it. This is actively participating. You can also, of course, take the list, and just send love to everyone on it, and that, is a wondrous thing to do. And by the way, I will invite you to send love to all of those who are going to pass out our Nasara flyers and to all of those who are going to receive them, at this event about vegetables on Sunday, because this is another way we do a Sunday Nasara meditation anyway, so you can incorporate support for them in your meditations. Do it earlier, or require that the time at which you are doing it, and joining in, is joining with the whole, entire Ashtar on the road family, and all light workers beyond, and with special emphasis and energetic support to our family members who are going to be on the ground, so to speak, at this event. There is so much that each one of you can do, and you don't even need to leave the comforts of your home spaces to do it. Or, if you're sitting in the traffic, what you call, the jam up somewhere. I'm not talking about being inside of a jar, I'm talking about being inside of your car, and just sitting or any place. If you happen to take a walk in the park, and sit down on a bench, beam that love light to everyone around you. Remember, like attracts like, and your beams will find the hearts of those who are open to receive love. And they'll beam you back. They may not even know what they're doing. That does not matter. It's adding to the love energies for the whole world, and beyond, this world, and beyond. I shall say. And it's assisting everyone to lift up, and that, is what you came here to do. You have brought yourselves to the understanding of what ascension is about. It's about homecoming, and this is absolutely a most profound, and wondrous opportunity for each, and every one of you to do exactly what you came here to do, and to find the joy in it. It is not intended to be arduous, or difficult. It is intended to be uplifting, and joyful, and entirely doable, whatever it is that you have within your own individual beings to accomplish by way of your personal ascension missions. And it is when we join together that we empower, not only the group, but you as individuals as well, because you get the energies of everyone in this family. And I assure you that we are here with you constantly. So just open to receive these loving energies, and so you shall. Now, I will remind you of one other event that, is coming up on your calendars, and that, is this coming Thursday. It is a reunion for all those who studied with Sananda the Healing Hands of Love Light. You will have received an invitation, and, if you did not get an invitation, but have done this class with him, either through the MP3, 
or the other sessions that he has done, then let these women know so that we can send you the information you need to join with us. This is another opportunity to empower the world with love, even as you attend, and empower yourselves, and this is how it works, when we get together, we lift up together. You lift up enough to welcome us to join with you. That's how it works. We come through the levels, or you might call it the veils, which there are very little of, but nevertheless, however you want to see it, we come together. We merge. We become one energy of love. And that, beloved ones, is how these transformations are energized for each, and every one of you. So, keep these things in mind. We are not here to have these processes, this ascension path, be so challenging to you that you give it up, or that you feel as though it's too overwhelming. These energies coming in are all about love, and yes, Sometimes you can be tired, or even have some ascension-itis symptoms. Rest, relax, nurture yourselves, and call for the peaceful, harmonious assimilation of these energies, moving throughout your energy fields to balance, transform, and lift you up that much more, because as I have said just now, and many times in our past gatherings, you are divine. And as Divine Masters you are fully capable, fully enabled to call forth exactly what it is that you are feeling to call forth in every moment. So you can call forth more traumas, and dramas, or you can call forth more love, high vibes, and joy within your beings, remember that. You all have choices, and you are all here, because this is where you chose to be, living your lives in these bodies precisely according to your own divine plans, in company with the totality of the love light you are, and, of course, your guides. You charted your courses before you came into your bodies, and it is now for you to realize your own divine natures, and be in the mastery of all of the gifts that you hold within yourselves. Even though you have not opened them, or have opened them part way, but not all the way, they are there. They have all been available to you, and now is the time when you get to open them, and celebrate, and be joyful. So remember that we're here with you, and you may call upon I, Ashtar, or any of the mentors, or any of your own personal guides, most especially your own higher dimensional selves, and move up, 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 and out of whatever there is going around, swirling around you in what remains of third dimensional planet earth and as you do so what remains of 3d becomes less and less and less thank you so much for being here with us for joining with us and for being in the oneness of the love we are and so it is so let transcription by marta given through susan leland march 28 2017 ashtarontheroad.com